Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today I thought I was going through the list of the tanks I haven't played in a while and uh, by the looks of it Patriot was the one which was played like two years ago and I thought why the heck not to give it a go. I know this tank used to be one of the most powerful tanks back in the day and I believe a lot of people would agree with me it used to be better version of the T32 and so on and let's see how nowadays this vehicle is looking like and can this tank work or is it uh, uh, absolutely disgusting and unplayable because I hear those uh, um, opinions as well obviously the thing is there is no tank which would fit everyone's style let's get real every single of us are different some of us likes to uh, snipe from the back some of us likes to be a bit more aggressive some of us likes to whatever do something else doesn't really matter right but i'm curious can i make this vehicle work because i used to like it a lot i used to enjoy this vehicle a lot and i am very very curious how the tank is going to um, work nowadays so simple as this fellas can Patriot War. That's the question. That's the simple thing what I am looking for, right? Meanwhile, Scorpion is trying to escape. That's very, very good. This mother trucker is trying to shoot us while sitting over there. That's okay. Believe me, we are feeling completely fine. Yes, I want to get involved. Yes, I want to get a bit... Uh, I want to play a bit more aggressive. I don't feel like sniping from somewhere over there is going to be a valid option for us. Meanwhile, what do I want to do? I want to annoy whoever is sniping from over there. So simple as this. I am playing relatively aggressively and I will try to make them very, very happy. Now, what is a good thing about the Patriot? Uh, penetration of the standard shells, 230, shell velocity, nice. Now, uh, speaking about the alpha damage, yeah, alpha damage is not that great. Gold penetration is not that great either, but sometimes you need that extra 30 um, millimeters in order to uh, penetrate enemy, right? Sometimes you need that, although I would highly recommend not to shoot uh, uh, gold with this vehicle, especially whenever you want to make credits, right? So yeah. Anyways, uh, speaking about the start, we lost one third of the hit points. It is not a big of a deal in my humble opinion. So what we want to do, we want to get a bit involved uh, against the enemies. Right? That's all we want to do. Meanwhile, uh, this little mother tracker is running away for his life, which is once again kind of understandable if you would ask me. And at this point, we need to pay attention at the gentlemen who are playing in the middle and middle they play. So at this point, all we need to do, we need to have eyes widely open and say hello for all of them. Uh, now, speaking about the gun handling of this vehicle, it is not bad whatsoever. This vehicle can work, just aim properly and you are going to be completely alright. That's all you need to do. And in this situation, fellas, I believe it's fair to say and it's clear uh, to say we are having quite good angles to the people who are playing around this area, right? I would say our angles are looking um, relatively well. So it's a matter of the time whenever we are going to slaughter all of them. Although, in a way, we are losing the heavy flying. Which is quite sad, but oh well, what can you do? Beautiful track. Um, one more thing to highlight about this vehicle to track enemies permanently. It is very great feature and this is the right way to do the things in a way. Meanwhile, unfortunately... I do not want to make pressure like this because it's literally putting signature to um, getting F. So we are not looking towards that. What we want to do, we want to take this position now and hopefully we will have a nice angle to punish enemy with a um, tank destroyer who is playing in the open field. That's the plan, that's the hope, that's the dream. Also I am very well aware of the sniper schnitzels over there, I am aware of that. But I do not really think we can change something about this. Cupola shot. Cupola shot, fellas. 
Considering what kind of alpha damage this gun has, we definitely cannot say it is ideal by any shape or any form, don't you think so? Is considering about blind shooting? Doesn't really matter. Look at this mother trucker sitting in the middle. Good. We can hit him once again. Actually, he might try to move back, but if he won't, he will die. Hmm. Unfortunately, he moved back. Okay, so far we have 1.2 thousand damage and 200 assisting damage. It is relatively equal matchmaking for us. What do I mean by saying this is playing uh, tier 8 playing against the tier 8s. It is completely fine. The situation could be so much worse. For example, you are playing against the tier 10s and you are meeting whatever, 279E. Then, you know, you can do whatever you want. It is um, kind of game over. Especially if you are me, if you are the lucky one who met 279E. Okay, let's see. So, what do I want to do here? I want to try to take this position up. And hopefully from here we can slaughter enemies. I know there is a Borat somewhere in the middle. And I know I do not have the best angle ever. Although, if Borat will try to get involved as he is... Maybe we can smack him once or twice. In fact, he is dead. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, we are fixing track. We are not even risking against this new tank destroyer. Because um, the tank destroyer is absolutely powerful. It is like DPM powerhouse. So we need to keep this in mind. And we can return to the same position at this point, I would say. Actually, I kind of want to take... Um, I want to get a bit more involved maybe play over there we would have the Ergashem Borshik which is helping for us but in the same time we wouldn't be able to help if uh, enemies are uh, pushing this side which they are clearly doing now so yeah maybe this is the position to stay huh. okay I am getting spotted not exactly what I am dreaming about but this is how it goes for now and enemies will try to make pressure like this. Okay, in this kind of situation, I think we have only one way how we can approach this situation. And we need to get to the close to the red line because this game is already kind of over. And we need to wait until enemies will make pressure for us like, like so. Because they will. It is matter of the time, fellas. It is matter of the time. Let's see. We are playing relatively hold down with this vehicle, so at this point all we need to do, we need to um, pay attention at how they are approaching us. That's all we need to do. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. Doesn't really matter. Can we, can we do something for this Vazam? Oh, hi. How are you doing? Join yourself. Me too. I think this tank is completely fine nowadays. I truly do not think this vehicle is an playable pile of caco. I do not think this tank is unplayable, fellas. I think this tank can work still even nowadays. And yes, this tank used to be stronger back in the day. I'm very, very well aware of that. Um, but I still think it is completely fine of a vehicle. If you are using this tank properly, if you are trying to play hold down to the best of your abilities, I think you can still do many, many bad things for the enemies, honestly. I still think you can do many, many, many bad things. Okay. Now we need a proper roll, because if not, th then it's going to be very, very sad. Okay. Just open your eyes, fellas. Open your eyes and try to punish enemies every single time whenever they are messing up. Now high explosive on for this gentleman. Hmm. Alpine Tiger, wow. Wow. If our Ergashem will notice this gentleman and he will kill him, we are going to be completely alright. 
Well. Well, well, well. Not exactly what I was looking for, but that's exactly what we have. Good, he's down to one shotable. If he doesn't have repairs, he is dead. I think in this kind of situation, I need to deal with this Chrysler. Especially if Chrysler is getting involved here. Okay, Indian is pushing in front. Indian is officially dead. Now, we need to have the high explosive on for Mr. Chrysler. That's what we... Ah! Alpine Tiger found the angle. No, I thought I'm safe from him. Okay, my mistake. No complaints, no regrets. Still, um, great game nevertheless. Uh, 3.4 thousand damage, 100 assisting damage. So pretty much we did not spot it that much. I thought we are going to spot more, but uh, once again, not something I am going to complain about or or anything else. I would say this is a solid banana out of 10 uh, of the game. So, from the very first battle I played with this tank, can this tank still work shirting? In my humble opinion, this tank still can work. So looking into this, 3.4 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage. We are uh, top by experience. We are a second by the damage. We made 51,000 profits and I think the things went pretty well. Okay, uh, let's go for round number two. And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have a tier 10 Paris. Tier 10 matchmaking map is Paris. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. I think in this game we are going to struggle way, way more. Why so? Because our penetration is not that great. And obviously playing against the heavy tanks, you need to have better penetration. And whenever you are bottom tier, I have no doubts whatsoever. Many, many, many people will struggle with this vehicle. Um, and there is nothing shameful in that, to be completely honest with you. I do not really think it is a shameful thing to struggle with a tier A tank. And, you know, if you have this much making with the same defender, I would not act surprised if you would struggle against the tier 10s, right? This is nothing to be sad about or something. Much making in World of Tanks is looking in this way, and there is absolutely nothing what you can change about this. Until we are going to have this plus two, minus two, um, it's just how the things are looking like. And in this kind of situation, all I am doing, I am trying to blind fire um, this Type 61 sitting over there. There is no other alternative option for me. Now, on the plus side, luckily for us, we have our ammunition is relatively cheap, right? So we do not really need to uh, complain that much. We do not need to cry about this. Um, we can simply use, use this for a blind fire. We can try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can. That's what I'm trying to say. So once again, we are being super patient and we are waiting until enemies are trying to get involved and whenever they are, we are spanking them. Mm. I wonder, have we hit any of those blind shots or not really? This is the question at this point. Okay, let's try to move this corpse just like so. Beautiful. Turn it like this. Good. And now we are playing relatively hold down. So we are feeling so much better after this. And now we can go for a blind shot. And if you are wondering, skill, are you paying attention at this progetto? Yes. I am paying attention at this progetto. 100%. Beautiful. Very, very nice. We met an equal tier, an equal opponent for ourselves. That's great. We know from where type 61 is blind shooting, or shooting as I supposed to say. 13 ammunition left. I am not even thinking about going easier on the blind shots or something. This is, this is the game um, where we are going to blind fire a lot. I do not really think we have any other option here. So yeah. Uh, you need to be patient, fellas. In this much making, I can understand why people are saying this tank is a pile of junk. Um, and the main reason being is you do not really have a great alpha damage. 
uh, and that's a fact. You do not really have uh, that awesome of the penetration, and this is definitely a fact. So yeah, the things are simply looking quite uh, bad in this situation. And what we are going to do right here, we are going to track this gentleman, and we will keep him tracked. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he just used his repairs, and since we have a great um, DPM, well, it's not about DPM, it's about the rate of fire. We can keep this gentleman tracked, you see, and we are being a valuable part of this game in a way. It's not like we are doing absolutely F all and uh, we are just a meat in the game. It is not necessarily the case. I'm paying attention to this gentleman peeking sideways, don't worry, I am paying attention to him. Okay, at this point we need to say, see ya. We need, we need to escape. We need to escape. I do not really think we can... Wait a second. Maybe we can make a good crossfire here. At this point we are going to um, load the gold for obvious reasons. I believe I do not need to say why, how and so on, right? I believe that's pretty self-explanatory. Being bottom tier, trying to support our guys. No. Are you going to make some silly goose decisions, fellas? Are you going to make silly goose decisions? I think this cooldown is perfect for our guy. I will leave him here. Mm -hmm. We need to keep this in mind, Leo, sitting around this area. Yeah, shame. And looking into the score, even though we are not losing by such a huge margin, I'm speaking about the hit points, there is a big fat difference between having uh, um, two guns and, uh, well, between having like two tanks killed and having nine tanks killed, if you know what I mean. This is quite a difference. Anyways, we are not giving up, fellas. We are not going to cry in the corner. We will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can here. That's what we are trying to do. We are not up to give up. Mm -hmm. I side scrapping if you would ask me. Okay, we are alright. We cannot complain about this. I think we are doing a great job. He's trying to angle. It's not going to be that easy. It is not going to be that easy against us. Endless. I see the list. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, this is as much as we are going to get in this game. At least that's what I want to believe. I am trying to work my ass off, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It's not like I am saying, eh. It is GG and I'm giving up. No, not even close for this. Not even close for this. I, I was fighting till the last moment of this game. And you know what? I'm proud of my score. Considering what kind of matchmaking we have and how much we are losing this game. Uh, I don't really think we did a bad job as being a bottom tier mid ball. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's teleport to the end and let's see how much... Uh, how much of the assisting, uh, well, how much of the blind damage we have. Remember, we have 2.2 visible. And we are back, fellas. And in the end of the day, we have 2.7 thousand damage and 1.1 thousand assisting damage. So we hit this type 61 couple of times. We had 2.2, we have 2.7. So yeah, that's a two blind shots. And I am completely fine with that. All in all, we are scoring first by experience, second by the damage. I think we did as much as we physically and possibly uh, could with this vehicle. We did not give up till the last moment until enemies bended us over. And in the end of the day, we made um, 47,000 profits. That's great. Let's go for round number three. And we are back, fellas. So the last game for us. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So looking into this situation, 
we have a winning spawn at least in my opinion and I think this is only one way how we can play this game and I believe you know exactly what uh, uh, I am talking about. I am going to go like this, I will cross like this and I will try to uh, make some pressure just like so. That's what we want to do fellas. Meanwhile our light tank is making a hardcore pressure here. Uh, could you please move? He's like a goat, staying in the middle and not allowing anyone to move. Sir, I'm just trying to cross. Can you move your ass? Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. That's all we needed, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we needed. So, um... What we are going to do, we will try to help this Rene. This Rene definitely needs some help. That's for sure. Škoda is on the reload currently. And Škoda is sitting in the deep shithole, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know, I do not think he can do anything here. And now we are arriving where we want to play. So first things first. How we can whoop, how we can make this work? First of all, Er Hashem is sitting somewhere around this area and we need to keep this in mind. We need to keep this in mind, fellas. We know enemy light tanks are sitting in this bush probably. Or somewhere nearby. So what we need to do, we need to go for a blind fire and we are definitely not spanking him. Okay, that's completely fine. This is only the start. We are winning this game by uh, 2000 hit points. So this is looking all right for us. And now we want to get involved. At this point, I am thinking how to make a bit of pressure and how to punish enemies for their stupidity and for their mistakes. Cool. We are in position where we want to play. Very, very nice. Now, what we need to be aware of, they have a sniper schnitzel here for sure, right? Beautiful assisting damage from OMX-65T, obviously unlucky for this guy, beautiful, we found the blind shot and now the board is saying, mother trucker, how he managed to do so, hacks my man, hacks, and now we need to get involved, yes I'm losing the DPM fight against this guy, but I do not really mind that much, because he is a dead meat, mm, anyways, meanwhile, we have Liz, who never ever was spotted, so there is a big chance Liz could be even Afaka in the base. So what we are doing, we are trying to check it out. Is Liz um, chilling somewhere there or maybe he is sitting somewhere around this area? We cannot see absolutely anything and we found another DPM monster. Those DPM monsters nowadays are dangerous as Ethelus. Beautiful, he is down to fartable, so at this point we can try to approach as much as we want. And he is officially dead. Nice. Okay, where the Mr. Liz is sitting at? This is the question now. I hope he is not sitting somewhere over there on the corner, but obviously the time will show everything for us, and Liz is sitting over there. Nice. We are taking our time to aim. Unfortunately, we are missing our shot, which is quite sad, but I do not really think we can change anything there. And at this point, we are just um, waiting until our guys are going to provide us with... Uh, uh, until our guys will provide us with a spotting. That's only one thing what I can say. And this is a game over. So looking into all of this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I would say this is definitely a game over. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the best thing we can do at this point and uh, to be... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair with you is to go for a dancing and just to do that that's that's about it fellas that's all we can do to finish this session and this game okay
beautiful 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 we definitely cannot complain about this uh result in this game obviously if i would be in my position a bit earlier uh but i could easily save like 30 seconds or so uh because i was blocked and i truly did not want to push this guy uh out of position sideways you know that wouldn't be nice that would be uh, um a move uh, which would be low and sad and bad so you can always uh, ask to move your allies right anyways uh all and all, speaking about this game, we have only 1.2 thousand damage, which is bad. Uh, 400 assisting damage, which is not very nice whatsoever, but that's what we have, and we made 50,000 profits. All and all, after three games, our performance is 2.4 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage. But once again, I really want to highlight this. Our performance could be way, way, way better, if not the block, right? Uh, so yeah. All in all, am I happy with this? Yes. Uh, can I say uh, Patriot is still good in the world of tanks even to this day? In my humble opinion, it is. And I think Patriot is still completely fine as a tank. And uh, um, it is not the easiest tank to play with, but you can definitely make this tank work. Uh, and I believe you know what I'm saying. So here you go, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Patriot in action. Is it a meta tank? No, <laughs> this is definitely not a meta tank. You know how you can know this is not a meta tank? You can buy this tank from the bond store. That's how you can know this. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.